Hi guys, today what I am going to explain related to coding meter. As you people very much know about coding meter. Coding meter is a MVC framework written in PHP language. Why it's it is a phenomenal framework because of the MVC framework. So, what I'm going to explain today, how you can get data from Excel to front-end or you can do whatever you want with Excel and coordinator. For this we need to use a third party plugin or extension that's name is PHP Excel. So what we need to do you just download that Excel file from Codeplex. Codeplex you need to download that file from Codeplex and after that you need to extract that file and just paste it over here from the classes you'll get this file on classes after extracting of code black php excel file okay see no need to worry about anything do not open this do not open this okay it's just a third party extension how you are installing in coding meter I'll explain okay. just copy whatever it is just copy over here and come to the libraries what is it as it is Okay, in that you need to write the exact location of your Excel, PHP Excel, third party PHP Excel, third party PHP Excel, just class name, PHP Excel, it can link all the file all the functions from that file to your excel classes okay now what we need to do is <coughs> just go to the controller and write this load excel see it's excel that's why it's here excel if you will write excel file then you need to write same thing over here okay just see the example is it running no it's not running why same it is same okay now we need to change the file name okay come here library rename uh, okay now check it correct you need to change from both okay now this is your library calling of library from third party this is your and this is your file from where you are getting data to your php you need excel file Fetching data from Excel to PHP. Okay, now we will see the location. Where is it? Go back, go back, load the file. Okay, so file. Just close it. What I'm doing? So I go here. Serial number, DL number, mobile number. Valid 
action okay this is it <coughs> now come to your file this is just a factory that can load that particular excel file to your factory okay now we can remove all the things by which you can this is easy to understand cut it remove it okay just check one by one this is best of things over here and then just remove it okay now see okay there is no error now what i'm going to do is just i'll copy this file this line from here and i'll copy paste over here and explain see say now object contain all the if if you want to see just let me show you something it's print and score object what is what is so see it contain all the property of that file see but we don't want this much because i'm not getting the exactly things which we wanted okay so just create that cell and it cell collection active set what is we going to do it check the active set which one is a active set active set and get cell collections now see the output this collection is little bit understand devil file format and it's a uh, it's array you can find it okay now what we have to do now we have for each to get the data properly maybe we add now see okay you see a b c d e f same same you can keep it okay now you will do column row and data column get active set get cell from which cell get column get row and get value okay now if you want to see the value then you need to write print underscore r and then get value okay now just replace it see here get it okay now we need to clear this figure now what i'm going to do is we carefully have to write inside for each loop because you're getting the data as over here and you need to identify you need to bifurcate the data from the header and the values part because let me explain what is the header and what is the other part so this is a header okay by which you can identify the values and all these things are the data so we need to bifurcate the header file header thing separate and the other thing is separate how we can identify its header through this column a okay. 
so header it's not one but row equal to one first row it means it should be header okay now we have to add this thing to data for transferring now we need to go outside okay it's header its values header means header from here and value means value from here okay now we need to transfer data from view from controller to view just we need to write the page name and then the data which we have to going to pass that data available over here and now what we need to do we need to move in view now you press and you will you won't see any data okay now what we need to do is just write a simple paragraph inside this paragraph you need to call php for php and then you need to write print underscore r why i'm writing printer because it's a array data that's why encoding data data fetching is array data getting its array you, if you are writing any mvc code then you should understand what is multidimensional array and what is array without without the array concept you are not moving move forward with mvc and the latest frameworks okay now what if i'm writing data as you people think um, sending data then we have to get data then it's your mistake see you will get error it's undefined variable data so what we need to get over here we need get header and is the unique functionality of this correct and next what we have to get values how you will get values see let, let me show you something see it's good enough No see word out. Maybe you will get the proper value. Alice has food, 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 or food. Okay. Now if you have any doubt, then please comment, share this video. To explore the knowledge and and explain each and every part of coding leader. If you have any doubt, please comment and subscribe my channel. I am here to help. You guys are awesome, and I will make you better understanding of programming in the human. I am here to explain the concept of programming language and the human understandable language. After this, I'll go move forward with artificial intelligence. Well, you guys are awesome. Please like, subscribe my channel.